Hey guys, welcome back. I'm the Chill Guy. We're essentially where we left off. Last time we freed Cassandra. So the goal of this episode is to do a bunch of quests to make the 10,000 bits so that we could buy the nav key to continue the storyline. Let's talk to you this You picked Vaughn a hell guy. of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Okay, where were you in the lot of time? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Hmm. You look nervous. What? Let's see if we can intimidate him a little bit. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? That is true, look, I guess. I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Hmm. Do I? Let's see, not until you explain details, please. I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, uh, benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to... Um, enhance your charisma. Fascinating. I'm sure you're going to tell me where I'm going. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll put it. You're going to be, you got to be more Some specific. You know what I mean? Makes it easier to attract companionship. Mm. Makes you more uh, appealing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't want to cut to the chase. Of course. Our lab south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. Second lab down the road, and when I get there... My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Do I need a code for the door from Anton? No, I mean... Eh. <laughs> in fact, don't mention this to Dr. Crane. At all. All right, I'll head up there and keep an eye out. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass. So those charisma-enhancing benefits he was talking about, it was just blowing smoke, right? Hmm. <laughs> so what we can do now, we can try to find Jameson. And then we can get for semi-legal research. Oh, whatever it may be. Unexpected noise identified. Let's see what we have here. Hey, look, my kind of door. Some robots here. Let's see if we take them out. That does a lot of damage. <laughs> Just doing so much damage, man. They got him. More adrenal man. That's reptilians there. So let's take off this one here in the back here first. Let's take this one out here. And let's take this one out here. Look at this damage you're doing in. And then we have one more up here. It's doing good damage though. So let's see if we can find Jameson. Uh, poor Jameson. Poor Jameson. Poor thing. 
So before we speak to Anton, let's go investigate the other thing here, the amateur alchemist. This guy, you take him off first. Let's be strong. <laughs> Let's use this. Check, there's nothing sneaking behind us. Never imagined I'd say this, boss, but even a rat. So, what are we coming here for? Science 40. Mmm, experiment in progress. So, Science 40. Let's complete experiment. Let's go back to Vaughn and see if we can capitalize on this experiment. There we go. Let's Did give him the bad news. Colleague, Jameson. I'm sorry, he's dead. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only Not at all. About how he helped or hurt my research. All right, let's go. Let's speak to the next guy. Any news okay. on that thing we spoke about? You know. So let's think of the lie to keep that, since we need that. Before that, I had a question. Lay it on me. Uh, what's your company doing now? Ask Doctor Crane. All I know is my bit, analyzing the raptodon equivalent of hormones. Mostly they're leptin analogs. Raptodons have four different varieties. Concentrations vary based on the so, season. So, what I'm trying to do is tell him that, you know, I didn't make it that way. And I try not to give him this money. I mean, this thinks we get our money. So, let's do this. Maybe it's for them fat cats up in Byzantium. I've got something else in my mind. Want to talk about peptides? I've got, like, amazing stories about cortostatin. You want to give him this experiment? No. Let's see, Don't let's, let's see what suspense. happens. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. It's for other parties. Buyers. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, it, not by using it, because I'm not. So, what kind of reward you're, you're planning to offer? Take this. You earned it. If you run into me again after all this is over, maybe I'll have more. Pleasure doing business with you. And I think, but it's actually a pretty cool map, you know. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I investigated invest the stress in from that? Roseway. Speak up now. What'd you turn up? I acquired some research on Arctidian Musk, but I found another bio. A shame bio. you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. My stars, what a find. Fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie. Okay. And don't spend it all in Let's one see. place. How much she given us? Let's see if we can get fair, some more fair. stuff. No one ever said old Gladys was a cheapskate. No, sir. And I'm not about to let them start. Here. Consider it hazard pay. Be sure to come back for Magazine Club. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Let's take Bobby to this bar. Maybe it's something he's gonna do for a long so, time now. How does this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Hmm. This is a perception. Oh no, that's just that's on account of mine not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and I feel my heart shake. 
Uh, if you really want to get drunk, whiskey is uh, is efficient. I'll well, drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up. Whoa, easy there, Parvati. Maybe you want to work yourself up to whiskey next time. Oh, no, it's good. I'm I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like. Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Enjoying a drink with your friends. <laughs> yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about you, Mike? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. You really... Stop by telling me why her message to you so unsettled. Uh, I don't feel like talking about this, but let's see if she's in here. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. No one sends terrible baby sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's... A lot. The poem implied you coming up with a touch. That's romance, serial grade stuff. Ah. Did. I think like a little romance. It's like the story. Really? Oh my goodness! And I told you. So, Parvati, you gonna read this poem for us, or do we have to turn down the lights first? <laughs> Could be you are rethinking it. You know, that's a given, Captain. I can't not worry myself to bits about the things that matter to me. But she actually write in the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Perception, what is she? What is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Water's for cowards. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but oh, I'm so scared. We need to get over it. Figuring feelings ain't so easy as saying words, Captain. Someone so brave as you, well, you can't understand. Too does brave, she think man. I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together oh, no, and you gotta do better than that. she gets bored of me? There's an easy way to get chances. Oh, there's nothing Let's easy go about, about spilling them, uh... your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? Let's go with the last one. You can't control people to react to you. You and people do what care do you about. Mean, Captain? Let's go to the top end. The only thing you can control is you. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. We all do. I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Let's see, so are you going to ask her? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? I mean, yeah. You're still in short, just ask her. Alright, 
All right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. You know what I mean? Huh. More drinks, more drinks. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we talked about Betty in the bar. Let's take her back to the ship. I request no more fertilizer. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother. Hey, this girl has so much feelings. I did have fun. Sick. And I tried she to have things. feelings. I otherwise. Oh, that whiskey to give my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal chewing on my skull. Did you talk to Jin Lee? I messaged Jin Lee when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. He says no bad poetry this time. It was earnest. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Okay, so Jenny does like you. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go fight her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. There's this thing here. You can return to the Rosewee. Let's see if we give us something worthwhile. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. What are you talking about? Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? I'm here to help. Someone sent out a stress call. Oh, well, good luck. Okay, <laughs> like two, like right here. What are you doing there? What does there? it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. Let's see, let's use this. If you run a wire from a capacitor, then you can bypass that circuit and save a little power. I. Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. Need no. help? Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Sure, I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. So let's see if we could find... Gladys and Maddox. Oh, wow! Oh, that's pretty cool.
that's a marauder there. So what we can do, we can snipe him up. So we can snipe. Good job, Cap. See another guy coming out. Everyone all right? Get that loot. It was always important to get that loot. I don't even know how you can get a kitchen this dirty with just canned food. Is this the spot? We hope so. Because you don't have to do that. Did you come to the right spot? So did we just break into here for nothing? Oh you got ammo, ammo. Be where Mr. Shaw's been working. Oh, oh there's an enemy. Uh-uh, uh-uh. There's another guy. Where did they come from? Jeez. We made. So the schematics are right here. Are they here? They got my no lens, more stuff. Right here. And we're gonna use these schematics. There we go, we're gonna take this. And now we're gonna head to Gladys. So let us see what Gladys is saying, because we still have to get the now keys. It's gonna say ten thousand bytes. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. I said it does What's that? In the rules way. Speak up now. Hmm. What'd you turn up? There you go. I found some manager prototype weapon from four. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week, that'll go for a tidy sum of bits. Are you positive? I think that's it. Honest to goodness. I can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. So we're still short. Now we're gonna do the side quest as solution vital. So let's go here and see what we can do. Destination reached. Scylla. So is that first time going to this place called Scylla? Operation out here. What would happen to him? Looks like they started terraforming the place, but gave up halfway. 
Let's use this. What's this room on? Okay, so we find this guy. These guys are obviously enemies. Staying out of sight. Don't let up. Yeah, let's take him. This guy, where's this guy coming from? Snipe him right there, he's not even paying attention. Alright, we're gonna each other, we're gonna snipe each other today. Oh, he's sniping me, he's sniping me, he's sniping me. Oh, no, we gotta do better than this. Let's catch him a little headshot. Ha! You got him. Gotta get that loot. Let's see. How, let's see what the guy doing. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. <laughs> Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Yeah, Subject obviously. appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Captain well, Ariel, I take it. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I she swear, did. land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Then take it. I let Wanda know I should be on the way. And do please give Wanda my chilliest regards. Take this. So let's see what she's saying now. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. I am. Well, give me some money. No money. That... No, come on, no money. Yeah, we got some money. Thank the Lord. So now we get now we get money by this now from homegirl. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. So, oh, we have to pay for ten thousand bytes. That's so Fantastic. expensive. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Julia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Nope. Anytime, sweetheart. Thanks for your time. You know where to find me. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? About time, about time. 
Well done. Put him on the You'll screen. love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Just tell me You'll what to want do. to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best All of right, all, everyone on the Hope is counting on you. All right, guys. I think we'll end this video right here. It was fun. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. See you there.